All right, so the next step is going to be putting the registration keys in the helmet. Um, I'm gonna do two helmets at once. Um, one's already mocked up, which is the red one. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do the pink one. Um, with the red one, I learned that if you do all five registration keys at once, it's kind of a pain to take apart. So in this video, we're gonna do two parters, or two parts. Um, the keys will go on one side. Once those hardened stuff, I'll take the helmet apart, clean it up, and then retape it, and then do the other side because the keys are gonna interlock or interlock. Um, but for this step, you're gonna need a couple things. One, you're gonna have to have your helmet done, all the body work done, cut in half. Um, big key with this, even if your cuts aren't perfect, don't try to fix them right now. Um, because when you put the two halves back together, you want them perfect, and even though your cut might not be perfect, it'll lock right back up when you tape it up, because if it's off just a little bit, your keys could get messed up. Um, you need at least some kind of respirator or mask, because we are going to use some resin. Um, I also like to use a silicone brush, because when the resin dries, the resin actually comes off the brush pretty easily and you could reuse it instead of buying the cheap brushes that you only get to use once. Uh, you need some masking tape or painter's tape. It doesn't matter what color, what size, it's whatever you want. Um, because it's a little cold outside, um, I got a heat gun to speed up the process of hardening. Um, depending on the temp temperature, it, it varies between when your resin will actually start to harden. Um, so because it's only like 55 degrees outside, I'm going to speed it up with the heat gun. Um, I also have a Dremel, um, some scissors, fiber cloth. Um, it doesn't matter if you use the mat or the cloth, as long as you have it. And then I also have some disposable cups. So those are pretty much the tools that you need. You also need the resin and the hardener, which I'll get into that later on to mask off part of the helmet. Um, the keys that I'm gonna do right now are gonna be going, they're gonna start on this end and they're actually gonna lock in down to this end. So because I'm doing that, I'm gonna wanna tape this side up. And the only thing you wanna tape the sides up are so when the resin starts drying, you don't want the two pieces being formed into one because then it's going to be a pain in the butt to actually take apart. So on this side, I'm going to use the thinner pieces, which you'll be able to see here. And the only reason I'm doing it thinner on this side is because this is going to be the side that's going to actually attach itself to the helmet. Um, so I don't really need it like super, super long, just enough to where I need it to cover. Um, you could also, for the other side, use like a petroleum jelly, like a Vaseline, um, and that will prevent the resin from actually sticking to the helmet. But if you do that and any of it gets on your helmet, you're gonna have to do more work to actually clean up that helmet. Because it's gonna prevent from any paint or anything sticking. So like you're gonna have to like sand it, clean it and then sand it down and then reprimer it later. And I don't wanna do all that extra work. Just in case I messed up. So let's see how this is gonna go. And like I said, I already did the red one, but I'm going to do the pink one with you guys. So you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, I know I never made a video doing the tabs with resin. I did it with a plexiglass. Um, and honestly, from my own personal experience, a plexiglass works. But this is so much nicer and technically easier to do. Okay, so we got that side. Um, maybe I'm only gonna do two tabs on this side. No, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna definitely do three tabs. And then 
when this dries and hardens, I'll do the reverse tabs. So like I said, you gotta cover the seal because if the resin gets in, it's gonna bond these two halves into one. And that is something I just don't really want to happen. Because I kind of already did that with the Red Ranger. I did all five tabs at once and they all interlock with each other and it's just a pain to get apart. Okay, that is all done. So with the other side, so this is how it's gonna look right now with one side. Now with this side, I want to hit the same exact spots I did on the other one, but the, but with this side, I actually want to go deeper in with the tape. Um, and the reason I want that is because the tabs will start forming on this tape. And so when I take it apart, I don't care if any of this tape still stuck on the tabs because it's just going to be free floating. But on this side, because the tape's shallow, I want the tabs actually sticking to the helmet because that's actually going to you know, hold the tabs in place. Um, and if you don't get what I'm saying, I mean, when it's all said and done, you'll definitely see what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, this might be a pretty long video just because this step is crucial. Um, and you just want to kind of go in there, smooth it all out. Um, it doesn't matter if it goes over some. And there's like no perfect way of doing this. But when you are... Putting tape on tape, make sure you kind of layer it. So if resin does, if you didn't smooth it out enough and resin does get under the tape, it'll just stick to the other side. Okay, so that's one side, two side. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing with the top piece. And like, if you did mess up cutting it in half, you could fix it once you put the tabs in place. Cause like, like I said, if you, if you try to fix it right now, the two halves might not fit perfectly together. Good. Here is side two. Here is side one. So, like I said, this side the tabs are somewhat shallow, and this side they're they're going farther back with the tape. Um, now, this is the biggest part you have to do. Um, you got to put the two halves back together, and this is probably the most crucial part because if it's not perfect one of the helmets might go to one side and the other helmet might go to the other side. Um, putting the tape in the center kind of makes it a little harder, but you just gotta do your best to put it back together the way it was. I've never done this with a pink ranger, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it turns out. And hopefully it turns out pretty good.
the nice thing with the pink ranger, you do have these little areas that you can kind of see if they're gonna actually line up perfectly. Unlike the red, you kind of don't. thing too is after you do the tabs the first time around lining this back up will be super simple it's only the first time that's more of a pain All I'm doing is adding extra tape just so when I start doing this I don't have to worry about it moving a little bit it just stays locked in there we go here's what the inside should look like and like I said I'm only doing three tabs I'm not doing all five right now um, because like I said they interlock if you do all five um, 